Welcome to Genealogy Wednesdays, where I help you with your family research. Today we're going to be discussing FOIA requests, Freedom of Information Act requests, so let's take a look. So first off, we'll start, what is it? It is a request for public documents that are already in existence. So you cannot request documents be made, but you can request them uh, from federal, local government agencies. So what you do is you type up a letter at the very top, I put FOIA, and there's no standard format by the way, it's just however you put it, but that's how I do it. And then I put in the, the body, you know, this is my name, here's the way you can reach me, because you usually have to either email these or mail them by letter, so I put that in there. And then what it is uh, you are requesting. The more information you have, the better. So here's a quick story about when I used it. So I found a news article where somebody had passed away in a car accident, but the news is very limited. It's a short article. It gives, you know, the road they were on, the date, approximate time, and uh, there was no survivors. That, that, that was essentially the article. So what I did is I took what information I did have, the area, I looked up what city, in the county and then I looked up the emails for the FOIA uh, officers. Most places have them in the emails or on their websites, ways to reach them. So I filled out my form. I put FOIA, here's the information. I even put a, a picture of the news article in the, uh, the request and then I said what I was requesting. I was requesting everything about the accident because you have to be specific. That's what I put was everything about the said accident. So, and then I listed some bullet points as in witness statements, photographs, uh, blood alcohol levels, police reports, you know, different bullet points. So then I sent off the email. A couple days later, I got a response and it was an interesting response because they said that they were not um, able to locate the record. So they actually forwarded my request to Highway Patrol because I had sent it to, I believe it was the county sheriff's uh, office. And then Highway Patrol got back with me and they were able to locate the information I was requesting, which was amazing. They probably had to dust off a few boxes because it was many years ago. And they asked, how did I want the information? And they gave me a few ways they could do it. They could print it all, they can send it by CD or USB. And I decided at this point I wanted a CD and I sent them a handful full of dollars. I think it was maybe 10 bucks and sent them the $10. And then a couple weeks later in the mail, I received a CD, put it in the computer, opened it up and got to see everything that I requested. There was no witness statements. Uh, so that was not included. And they tell you that as well. You know, they, they were not able to fulfill a portion of the request because the record just didn't exist. But there were other things that existed. The police report, which had the lab information for the blood alcohol level, level as well. And it also had photographs. And mind you, uh, keep in mind when you're asking for photographs, especially of an accident, they can be graphic. Very, very graphic. I can't unsee what I've already seen. Let's just say it that way. While I am happy to have some of the images because there were some not so graphic ones um, because those help put a, a story, help put the scene together. There were some images that I just did not need to see at all in any way, shape or form. So keep that in mind when you're requesting photographs or videos for some requests. So yeah, that's basically FOIA request in a nutshell. Just be uh, advised again about the photograph part. And you can do this really to any governmenting uh, agency. This is a request to request public documents. Um, they can always deny your request, that's possible. A lot of uh, news outlets use them as well, I mean, daily. 
Um, you can request body cam footage from police. You can, you can do a lot of things with freedom of information requests. Uh, documents from the White House, you can look up many, many items. But like I said, they will not create something for you. You can say, I am looking for this document or this bill that's in Congress or uh, this officer's body cam footage between these hours and these hours or timestamps. That's what you can do. You cannot say, please give me a list of all the officers in your facility. If that list doesn't exist, they wouldn't give that to you anyways, even if it does exist, uh, because that's not going to be, it's, it's a privacy issue. But if that list doesn't exist, they're not going to compile the list of officers in their office to then give to you. Only what is already created is what you can get. As long as it is public information and does not breach any other laws or regulations for the country or state that you're requesting them from. So until next time, use FOIA. All right, guys, make sure that down below you hit the like button, subscribe, and you hit the bell icon. That way you can get notified whenever I come out with a new video. You never know what that video is going to be about. Could be about genealogy. Could be about living out of my car. Either way, I'll do my best to help you out. Till next time, have a good day.